hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see i'm just feeling myself i'm just going to be showing you how i get like a 22 inch really jet black hair to this ombre bulb so if you'd like to know more definitely keep watching so the hair came from rosa beauty as you could have seen on the screen and on the title it came in this package just a regular fedex package not in any special packaging and this is me just brushing the hair and the hair came extremely wavy so for me to get into a straight hair or straight bob as seen in the beginning it required a lot of um, straightening actually but I'm going to show you more of that in the video so here I'm just brushing the hair just to you know see if there are no tangles and just feel the texture of the hair then it came with this purse that came with some what I call them hair tools so like a hair wax stocking cap you know bobby pins an elastic band you know tweezer alligator clips and um, I think a comb so here I'm just gonna bleach the hair because obviously I don't I barely wear black hair these days so I'm just gonna be using you know true lights I'm gonna put all the things I use in the description box I do this so much but this is just my you know true light um, rapid blue bleaching powder and I'm just going to wear my latex gloves I like this because it's just you know just takes the gunk off my hands I'm just using about maybe three spoons and I'm gonna just add my developer and I'm just using my discretion this is 30 volume developer I don't want it to be too runny and I don't want it thick either so I'm just gonna keep adding along the way um, till my preferred consistency which is like pap like but not too running then on a the foil I'm just placing the hair and I started from the middle I don't know if you can see properly with this video and that's because I wanted the middle a bit lighter than the rest of the hair so that's just what I'm doing so basically you're just going to drench the entire hair with um, the bleach and developer mixture the portion that I did should be fine if it's not fine for you maybe because you're new to doing this you might want to repeat the process so it took me about maybe five minutes to do and I'm just going to you know leave the hair for about another maybe 10 minutes to bleach because I didn't want it to be too light then I'm just going to go in with my you know tresemme shampoo and conditioner and i'm just going to wash it then once i've washed it and wringed it dry i'm going to apply honey brown so that it doesn't look brassy honey brown adore dye so i'm just putting like some hot water in the bowl that's why there's steam coming up and i'm just going to add just about a portion of the i'm sorry i thought it was in frame of the adore dye um to a door dye to the to the water and I'm just going to apply all over the hair so you want to do this I also applied it on the lace just so that it can tint the lace a bit as I said I used a door honey brown please check the description below for all the products that I mentioned in this video in case you didn't hear so once you do that you want to adjust that um, as you go along the way make sure that you don't waste any products and use um, everything that you mix can you see i'm even using the cover as well so i don't waste anything so once that's done you just want to leave it for maybe 10 minutes and then you rinse it off properly after that i'm just going to lay it on my hair which is what i'm going to show you now so I'm just going to keep quiet and i'm going to actually talk now in the main video okay i've laid the hair i'm just going to cut it because i have a lot of long lengths and i just don't like the way the ends are because I don't know because it's a full or it's because the frontal wig I'm gonna turn to the back so you can see also so that the part I bleached will be on my face let me show you how long it is can you see it's quite long so I'm I'm going to cut it I'm going to cut it till about here like a long bob I just hope I don't mess it up <laughs> and you guys should wish me well so I'm gonna use a scissors to cut it cut it till about this long but I don't have a mirror in my front, so and I don't want to wait. Yeah. I don't want to regret this. So I have a mirror here, so I'm beginning to do like this. Let me see if I can move it a bit better. Okay, yeah. I think I can see myself in the mirror now. So I'm going to cut. I'm still going to like use the hot comb to flatten the part. I have laid as and I really like the way it's laid. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna cut it now. I'll try and show you that on camera at least one side and I'm going to flat iron it to like bouncy with the chase method okay let's get on to that oh I'm so nervous <laughs> usually when I cut my hair I always cut it on a on a mannequin but I this hair is freshly like washed I haven't like used like heat on it like intensely so I will still go and go and do that so let me just be sure that the pattern is right so I can cut it according to the part that I want. Okay, I think this is better now. Yeah, I have a lot of long hairs and I'm just I'm not about that life. 
Okay, I'm using a regular scissors. Where is my? I'm gonna use this comb as a guide. Oh no! <laughs> when I cut hair, I usually like to cut it a bit longer than I want. So that in case there are errors, I can still go in and trim it shorter. I hope the scissors is sharp. So... Okay, no bad. <laughs> It's actually not bad. This how much hair. I'm doing it this way so I don't have hair on the floor. So I'm just going to put this in my bin. I should actually put my straightener on now. But my straightener heats up fast. I actually like it. See, I think it even frames my, my face a lot better. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm going to repeat the second side. Can you see? I did glue it all the way. I really like this. I didn't even notice I didn't even twist this hair. I just laid it straight the way they did. I'm not talking to you, Siri. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Siri. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna do it a bit longer because this side I'm leaning like this, so let's see. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna trash that as well. Okay. God, I just I don't want to look at the back <laughs> because uh, this is just like blind cutting. So I'm gonna be using my Tony and Guy straight now. This one I've shown you guys before, and I'm gonna be using that to flat iron the hair to give it like a bouncy effect. I'm gonna put it to about 235 degrees celsius which is about 400 degrees fahrenheit if my math is good so i'm just gonna comb it just to be sure that bobs are so 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 much nicer let me just turn to the back so you guys can see i can't even see how it looks in the mirror I, okay i can see a lot of like i don't know if you guys can see a few like sharp ends so when i take this wig off i'm going to do that, those corrections but for now on camera i won't i'm just going to use my common sense to bob it and then i would remove the excess once i flat ironed it if that makes any sense i'm going to be using that same comb that i used and we'll go from there i need a clamp or like a hair ruffle okay a clamp would be better but i can't even see any and i have up to 12. so i'm just gonna do this left to me like when I take off the wig I would have done it like um line by line because when you do it that way you get a better finer more movement in the hair but here I'm just doing like in lumps so oh it looks so nice from here I hope it's coming out nice on camera as well and then the color gradient is a lot better because I focused the bleach on the uh, middle part of the hair. So since I've cut off the tail now, the color gradient is better. Ah! Oh, it's in fine, look. <laughs> so silly, Tosi. You could be so silly. <sighs> so I'm just going to do that. I'm going out to view a venue. My friend is getting married, so we're going to view a venue. So... She should be here in like an hour, but I should be done and able to film the intro. It seems like I'm going back and forth, but I'm just using that to look at any excess. So I'm just going to use my scissors to just remove that. Yeah. I hate when there's hair on the floor, so I'm just going to put that away. Oh, my staff is messaging me. Oh, I'll attend to her later. I love the straightener so much. Like, I could do it over and over again. Or I could use it over and over again. Okay. Okay. I 
think that's that's gorgeous I'm just going to show you now I'm going to do the other side this side is a lot bulkier to do because obviously there's more hair on this side but I'm going to just try and turn this way so you can see notice I haven't put any serum I didn't put any products on this hair usually I like to put a drop but I'll do that once I'm done or the next time that I wear the hair but I may put like a holding spray, a light holding spray because I'm going out and it's a bit cold and I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if there will be winds or anything. Just so it looks more silky, if that makes any sense. Because I don't think the hair has a silky finish. This hair is so pretty though. The texture is more like... I don't know. It's not silky. I just... <laughs> I don't know the texture, but it's not silky like super drawn hair, dub, super double drawn hair. It's not. It's not. Oops. That was my comb that fell. Notice how I'm bobbing it at the base a bit so that I can have that. Can you see? Oh, it's gorgeous. You guys, since I've gone away from doing black hair, I don't think I can ever go back. <laughs> like, anytime I wear black hair, I always feel so boring. But this is coming together. Eh, it's a fine girl. I'm still gonna put like hair wax to make sure that all the fly away, maybe even some mousse. But. I'll use the light hold mousse so that it doesn't um I don't like when the middle looks hard. I'm just gonna do this front away again, but just with yeah because I feel that there's a few there's some fly away because this is where the frontal is. So the frontal hairs are usually not always even and we don't want that to show so I'm gonna try and flatten it as much as I can bobbing it at the tail yeah and combing it in such a way that when the wind wind blows we still look gorgeous oh this is so nice okay so i'm just gonna do mousse on camera slip the flyaways and i'll come with the hair review okay 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 so really that's about it if i like to go further i can decide to put like powder on my parting and you know just style it a bit more wear earrings tuck it behind my ears you know have my husband have a look at the back and try to help me trim if there's any like um longer hairs but that's about it. i'm just going to give a quick review of this hair because this is the first time wearing it delivery came fast this hair is from rosa beauty the delivery came really fast i think the day we agreed they posted it to me the next day i got in like three days delivery came fast the hair came with all the items that i showed you at the beginning of the video so that was good um what else again did i notice about the hair it didn't have any smell the density is a bit light but i think it looks more bulky because i've cut it into a bob so which is nice the texture as i said it's not silky like um double john it's like yucky and silk i don't know it's not it's not yucky like um outre hair or like um what would i say like you know deep brazilian hair no but it's i don't know it, it's it's not like super silky that's just the only way i can explain it but it's nice texture i think it's nice for this kind of bobs like natural looking bobs it's really nice but i haven't worn it long enough i don't know if it sheds yet because i haven't i mean i've just i've cut the hair so i don't know it's until i wear it longer so maybe if i do like maybe an updated review i can just maybe mention it and that what else of it did take to color very well because i colored it just a bit lightly and it did take to color well the only thing i noticed that is that now that i've straightened it a bit um like straightened it i don't know how long it's going to hold the curl for until the close of the, maybe when i'm editing this video i would put like i will insert like maybe like a picture or like maybe two hours later because i'm going now trying to take selfies in the car and i would let you know if it did hold this bob shape for a long time or if it's scattered i'm not going to put a holding spray so that you guys can tell like naturally so that's basically it about my review i hope it's genuine i hope you like the way i styled the hair i didn't really do much i just laid it which i, I read what i love 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 the um the frontal was very well customized i didn't do anything to it i did not pluck it the only thing that i did was i tinted the lace to be my color which is like as if it's growing out of my scalp i'll try and zoom in but 
besides that i didn't do anything to it so yeah shout out to you rosa beauty <laughs> and i'm going to put all the links in the description box below everything about the hair the specs the length the initial length and i'll see if i can measure this length to see what length i've gotten it to now so it may for you you may not want to cut it but i decided to because i have a lot of long hairs and i just didn't like the way it looked after i styled which i showed you guys at the beginning of the video so that's about it so yeah i'm going out now i'm going to go and wear my boots wear my coats and keep it moving so yeah that's about it for this hair i'm just going to do a small cameo and then i'll say bye bye so yeah